Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Football Manager with Atletico Madrid. And we have the first game here against Osasuna now. I'm going to be playing my um, asymmetrical for... I think it's a... I don't even know what the hell it is. 4-1-2-2-1. Two, two, it says 4-2-3-1, I think. But um, I, I don't see that, to be honest. But it is an asymmetrical formation. The last time I played this, we did draw 2-2 two, two with that Vaduz, or Vaduz team. I don't know, whatever the fuck they're called. Um, but that was with quite low uh, pre uh, fitness. So um, I am hopeful this time that we can actually um, get a better result. And obviously, the, it worked well with me in Liverpool. So... And I think they're a bit more familiar with it. So, um, yeah, let, let's have a look at the team we've got. Uh, this is probably my strongest... Actually, yeah, probably is my strongest team. Although, um, we are minus uh, Gabby or Garby. I don't know how you pronounce it. Gabby or Garby. I don't know. Be English and pronounce a, um invisible R. Um, but he is, uh, his condition is like 88, so I didn't want to play him. Um, you know, but we've got likes of Thiago. Mario Suarez looks like a decent player. He looked good um, in the competitive games. That's a DMC. Uh, got Godin and Dominguez in centre midfield. Diego, uh, Falcao up front, Turan, Juan Fran, um, and Asensio in goal. Uh, I don't know too many of the, I, won't, I probably won't know that many players in the um, opposition teams this season, but what can you do? Um, Ricardo, I'm not too sure if that's the former Portuguese keeper, but if it is, then uh, we should have a good game. We are... Um, oh, actually, yeah, that, that's one thing I never talked about. Um, if I go to staff here, you may have seen it. Uh, I have sacked the initial uh, assistant manager and brought in Sammy Lee. <laughs> um, I thought, you know, he can actually speak Spanish as well. So if you are wondering about that, he can actually speak Spanish. Um, or at least that's how that. I mean, it's it said on the thing he could, so... Uh, where is it? Yeah, language is spoken English and Spanish. So, um, yeah, I thought, you know, that would be really good for me, you know, and also he, he spent the fact that he speaks English, but the fact that he is Liverpool as well <laughs> is a nice little bonus. But um, I think I've not mentioned, I think I've not forgotten anything. So uh, let's get in, let's get into the game. Let's do the whole fan thing. Now, um, I want to say control from the start. Now, I have set it all up so it should play normally and not go to the default yes there we go it is going to be back in 2d i know a few people oops hang on have i actually make sure it is 2d because i was um making sure if, if you think this is too quick guys then just say then i will slow it down um let's have a look actually that is really quick actually that is really quick i will slow it down anyway here we go um oh falcao oh it's a goal for falcao inside nine minutes and we have taken the lead against us sooner and, uh, well, that was a good start. <laughs> I was just fiddling around with the controllers and we scored. <laughs> so that's a good start. Falcao is off and away. Now, uh, I am expecting him to have a good game, uh, have a good season for us because he was the one, to brought, uh, one brought in to replace Sergio Aguero. Um, is he as good as Aguero? I wouldn't say so, but he is still a very good player. Just a big ball at rounds, a hopeful ball, really. I don't really see... <laughs> I can't imagine that was aimed for him, but uh, nevertheless, it's gone through and he scored. That's a great start for us in La Liga. I think Real Madrid won earlier. Um, they were like the early game. But uh, hopefully, you know, it's a home game against Osasuna, who are, you know, a decent team. I know I know Osasuna to be decent. You know, I, I know Europe, it, it's unlike different because, it's unlike England because uh, in um, in Europe, obviously, we've seen it where different teams do well every year. Obviously, Barcelona and Real Madrid dominate the top two of um, of the league, as as you'd expect, but in Germany, you know, we see someone. Oh, that's a, that's a corner. We see someone else different every year winning the um, Bundesliga, and you know, we're looking at this year. We're seeing Inter doing really poorly in Serie A. You know, <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, the same thing can be applied here to uh, to La Liga. I doubt it because Barcelona and Real Madrid are that good, but I want to see if it is actually possible on this game to break the stem of the tie. Oh, close for Falcao there to, uh, to break the um, to break the stem side of the uh, top two in La Liga, in the same way you know breaking uh, Manchester United and Chelsea in the Premier League is kind of what it did. Although Chelsea on this are rather poor, it has to be said. You can't really compare that to uh, Real Madrid and uh, Barcelona, who really are some of the best team, two of the best teams in the world. Although Chelsea are as well, of course, but they um, don't. It's it's kind of difficult when you're rotating managers every other year with uh, Villas Boas and. Hitting and Grant and uh, Scolari, etc. But anyway, back to the game. <laughs> Me rambling. Um, they are getting back into it. However, we haven't had too many. There hasn't been too many clear-cut chances, but that was one there. 
uh, but we still maintain a lead. Um, oh, Falcao. Oh, it's two. I was about to comment on uh, who else we can bring in. If, if you guys have any suggestions, I, I actually no, um, don't actually don't. If if, if you are going to comment on, you probably already have done to be honest on the previous video. But if you do have um, any suggestions about bringing players in, please do keep them to yourself because uh, I am going to be way ahead of you guys. <laughs> Although free transfers, if you do know any free transfers, of course, f please feel free to tell me. Uh, as the deadline to that, I think, doesn't close till, like, November. So, um, don't worry about that. I don't really want to concede the part-time and send you with a good save. And um, it's a free kick. I thought that was going to be a penalty then. But, uh, no, it's a foul to us. And Asenjo, uh, I've got two very good goalkeepers here. Um, this is the f few times where I'm a little bit stumped as to who, you know, who to play. Honestly, thankfully, the uh, the Belgian lad has uh, been injured. I've got his name, sorry. <laughs> um I'm pleased with how things are going. Make sure everyone looks interested because uh, Felipe, I think I said last time, I think he wants out. Um, I spoke to him last time. It, it said seems to switch off and lose interest. So uh, I think Arsenal put a bid in of eight million for him. I was going to accept it, but I thought, no, nah, I need another left back. I need a left back, just like a really good left back, and he looked good. So and uh, Ricardo there with a good save. So I think. For the, for the majority of teams in La Liga, you know, th this should we, we should have more than enough to beat them. Um, you know, like Santiago, etc. Falcao are very, very good players. Ardar Turan, a very good player. Um, and in my opinion, I think this is a very good team. And I think it's given me the um, it's, it's given me the players to take on Barcelona, Real Madrid, even Valencia, Villarreal, and so on. You know, and uh, I feel as if I can actually contest with these teams now with with this good Atletico team, not too sure how well they're doing in real life, I've, as I said, I don't really keep up with La Liga, that is 3-0, and that is a goal for Diego, and that is his first goal for uh, Atletico because now, I was, I think Diego was, Diego and Falcao were the, Falcao, Falcao were the two signings um, that kind of swayed me to do Atletico, because I thought two genuinely quality players you know, like when it, when it started with Liverpool, you know, it was the Gerard and Torres thing, that it was the two brilliant top quality players no Torres has obviously fallen away since then but when I started FM11 almost a year ago and Torres was still at Liverpool um, he was albeit you know it wasn't as good as he was but you know he, his reputation in Europe was still very good and that's a fourth goal it's uh, Godin or Godin I'm not too sure and, and I think has he just signed as well I think he has um, forgive me is he the Uruguayan captain I could be wrong on that but I'm, yeah I think I probably am but I'm not too sure so well, there's poor effort from Juan Fran, but it was turned in. By go uh, go is it Godin or Godin? As I, said, I, can't, I can't, I can never pronounce foreign names, but um, but yeah. So that, that, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, oh, also that's one other thing I want to talk about. If you do have any transfer suggestions, um, please make sure they are European. Uh, there is a law in or law a, a, a rule in Spain where you cannot have more than three non-EU players in your in your squad. Um, who can we take off here? Uh, I'm going to take Dominguez off since he is a little tired. And we shall... Actually, I haven't got any centre-backs. So I will <laughs> leave him for now. Um, take one for an off. He hasn't been that good. <laughs> Let's bring on Reyes. Yeah, that'll do. Bring Reyes on. Um, who's a little further back. Look how many bookings they've had. That's six bookings. Good grief. Have they not had to send it off yet? <laughs> And there's Valcao again. He won a hat trick. I'm going to keep him on. Uh, I might bring Makeda on later. But as you can see, it's asymmetrical formation doing me well again, as you can see. Although Arsenal soon haven't been that great, let's be honest. But we have uh, certainly blown them away. And there's Suarez. <laughs> well, he can be a little bit better than Luis Suarez for me at Liverpool. Obviously, in fairness, Suarez was decent. He wasn't amazing, though, as we expect him to be. Uh, let's make another substitution here. Uh, let's see who else can we bring off. Oh, time. Tempted to bring Falcao off, but. I'll take Diego off, I'll I'll save him. <laughs> I'll put two up front, I might I'll swap this now. Um I'll try that actually, I'll try Bring Turan back. I'll just try that actually. No actually no, I'll leave him there. He likes playing there, I'll leave him there. I I'll just check what their best um their best players are. Let's do so Makeda as a target man. And Falcao. I think it's probably poacher since he's already scored two, but I'll check anyway. It is a deep line forward, so it's got the other way around. 
uh, or is it deploying for it? And target man. So let's uh, let's try that. Now I, I know this. I wouldn't really recommend doing what I'm doing with Toram, uh, Toram but um, since we are four 0 up, it isn't. It's not going to really make much of a difference. But generally, they tend to get knocked out the the match quite a lot because they are sort of in a very obscure position. Um, you know, it's very difficult, very difficult for them to get into the match. So um, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend putting them there, but. I'm going to try it now anyway, since uh, he obviously it's, he's got a green light there. He can actually feel more comfortable playing there. Uh, but we'll drop this asymmetrical formation now. I just want to see how they've gone for the last 10 minutes. And to be an obscure formation, I know. But um, as I say, with 4 0 up, it doesn't really matter. And let's see. Come on, if we can add a 5. That'll make us go. I think that will actually put us top of the league. Reyes, of course, very good player. Uh, another one that drawn me to Atletico. That's poor effort in the end, but um let's see what else can we bring on then. Um let me bring on Paulo Ferreira for his debut. So maybe can Pereira play centre back? Yes, I think he can. Yeah, that's good. Take Dominguez off, yeah, because he's a little bit tied. Sixty eight percent not ideal. When the when of course the condition does go into the red, it is advisable that you do take the player off. But that will be the game, I think. Yep, it is. And I say well, 4 0 win. Very nice victory. Um, and next game, we'll say to Lopez since uh, I'm pleased with how you did. Looked happy, I won it. Everyone get a good body language with the green light going up. And as you can see, we are top of the league level with Real Madrid. <laughs> and I think uh, we can do, they can do better, it seems. So, yeah, that's um, an excellent. And I say, oh no, I can't obviously bring in my previous uh, manager. Uh, thing like the old profile, but whatever. Because Paulo Ferreira came on, but whatever, who cares? Paulo came on form. Um, Pedro, I thought that was someone else anyway. Uh, let's do the post match call. Let's see if they're different in Spain. <laughs> I doubt it, but uh, superb game. And uh, Falcao was also very good. Asensio, well, actually, I think to be honest, I think he's been playing in um, the Europa League, so that's probably four games. So, yeah. Turan's done well. Um, and of course, I'd like Diego on a permanent basis. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know, but we'll have to see. But uh, an excellent start to uh, life in La Liga for me as we thrash us Osasuna 4 0 with Atletico Madrid. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, I'm going to go now and play this Valencia game. This one should be good indeed. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you for the Valencia game. Goodbye for now.